After a couple of hours of lying in shit, you learn to appreciate what you've got, and right now all we had was each other. I was a wreck, and Giovanna, well, I knew what she'd seen no amount of drugs or therapy could erase. That kind of pain follows you around forever, the constant shadow of a wasted life. The poor girl had been through enough. We had to find a way out of there. Giovanna was calling Passos. I didn't know if this was a good place to hide or not. When half the local police force and a crew of paramilitary psychopaths want to send you upstairs, I reasoned the crowd was as good a place as any. At least when we got shot, maybe some kind soul would take a video and put it on the internet. Let's go. I just saw a cop looking at me. All right. Paso said there's a good place to hide in the back. I'm just trying to stay calm. <laughs> I guess this is it. No, keep going. That's a girl. Here, come on. This way. Pregnant. You better be shitting me. Me and Raul, Passos, you call him. We just want to live somewhere away from this shit. I understand. I wanted that too, a long time ago. What happened? It just didn't work out that way. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe things will be different for you two, I mean. Passos is a lucky guy. I don't think these guys are here for your baby shower. Get down. Stay out of sight. Disperse e procure por toda parte, hein? Temos que achar a menina e o americano também. Tá bom. Ok, chef. Procura por todo lado. Eu vou vasculhar tudo, ok? Não podemos deixar pedra sob pedra. Tá bom, chef. Down, I said. Hold down? Are you out of your mind? Boa, boa, vamos ver isso na puta. Vamos ver eles, vá. They're going to kill us. Giovanna, just wait there. I'm going to be here soon. There isn't going to be a soon if we stay here. We have to move. Giovanna, get down. Oh, I made him go.
looking for the other side. Quick! Uh, uh, stay right here while I check it out. Make sure you stay out of sight. I can't do this! in on a parade float we couldn't have made our arrival more obvious we had to hide someplace out of the open the spoils of a desperate man an army of paramilitaries and only my face made the front page. More publicity I didn't need. girl out of there. Oh my god, Max! Come on. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know, but we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go. We're not going to make it, are we? We'll be fine. We just gotta lay low till Passos gets here. This wasn't looking good. What the hell were Giovanna and Marcelo thinking going in there by themselves? Guess their plan was no more idiotic than mine and I couldn't really fault them for losing faith in the Broncos' security detail. Let me just check this. We need to get out of the open. A barely recovering alcoholic and an unarmed pregnant woman. We were hardly a SEAL team. I put our life expectancy at five minutes. Hey, if we were lucky. If you can lift me up there, I'll see if I can lower it down. All right. Hmm. Ready? Go. Got it? Giovanna was a brave girl. She wasn't giving up. And I guess that meant neither could I. Well done. Another. Stay close and keep quiet. God damn it! Now get down! room? Yes, I think so. Well, that may be our best bet. Go on, I'll meet you there. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. I'll find a way through. Just stay quiet and keep down.
I was getting good at this. Something. Think about the mother, the mother. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. Max, look those stairs down. Wait a second. I'm going to try something. Good. It felt strange dealing with any of this without a lining of scotch on the stomach. This would have to do. As Aventuras do Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Episódio 204. Nosso herói idoso encontrou o esconderijo do Saci, onde ele mantém sua namorada, Bicycle Helmet Girl, como refém. Yes! Ela não é minha namorada. Me ajuda, me ajuda! Me ajuda, Captain Baseball Bat Boy! Mesmo sendo um velho rabugento que ainda usa roupas de jovem. Mas quase ele não consegue levantar o taco. Quando de repente ele tem uma ideia brilhante. Eu tô velho demais pra usar esse taco. Tá na hora de trocar por algo que um velho usaria. Captain Baseball Bad Boy sacou o seu melhor taco de golfe. Acorda! Acorda! <risos> Assista ao próximo episódio para ver as incríveis aventuras do 
Captain Baseball Bad Boy. With little hope that things will improve in the next 18 months. A report by human rights organizations documents evidence that up to 200 residents have gone missing from Sao Paulo's low-income neighborhoods in the past three months, an issue which they say is being ignored by both police and city officials. More Latin American news after this. Hotel Mona. An unforgettable place to stay. I must be losing it. down there. day had started with us hiding in filth and got progressively worse. My luck was running true to form. Or rather, I was running true to form. Should we wait here for Passos? No, it's not safe enough. Come on. Damn it. Max! Quiet! You're the one breaking in. No, you're the one breaking in.
day two of sobriety was going about as well as day one. I think we should move. Okay, don't worry, wait here. She was Victor's political nemesis and, in all probability, Sao Paulo's next mayor. Even the Broncos couldn't afford that many votes. Ever shot anybody? No. Well, it's driver shoot, sister. Right now, I reckon I'll be better at the shooting. Come on, you can do this. All right, now listen to me. When I give you the word, I want you to slam it into gear, full on the gas, and drive us the hell out of here. What? Just drive the fucking thing straight and keep on going. Relax. You can do this. Ready? Go. building and get the passos. Tell them to wait for me. Now go! Jump! Go!
was just about to run to the roof when my savior and friend, the man whose unborn child I had just killed for, decided to leave without me. just flew off on me. After everything we've been through, I, I saved his girlfriend's life. Who? Raul Passos? Yeah, Raul Passos. Yeah, I don't. I thought you guys were very close. We were. Well, you know what? I did a background check. Jesus. I mean, I thought the two of you worked for Rodrigo Branco. Yeah, so? So? Did you get paid by Victor? Victor? No. Well, Raul Passos did. Six times. Dating back to a few months before you turned up. He even paid for a ticket for him to go to New York. Why? I don't know. My guess is to meet you. But why? I don't know. Maybe he liked you. Maybe he thought you needed a break. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he wanted some dumb gringo to come down here to shoot things up and maybe to take the watch for Rodrigo, when he got shot. I don't believe that. Why? Because you're not a dumb gringo? Or because you are? You know, I have no fucking clue anymore. 